One of the characteristic features of the consolidation in 1923 of the many independent railway companies into the enlarged GWR and the newly formed Southern, London Midland and Scottish and the London and North Eastern Railways was the persistence of the often colourful and occasionally ornate liveries of the old companies throughout much of the 1920s. This tendency is a particular feature of the short milk and fruit van train that we show running on our Midland and South Western Junction Railway route in the Vale scene, and in which much of the formation comprises typically elderly vans in the colours of the old companies. This train is drawn by MSWJR 240 number 11, which was one of three engines of identical design that the company acquired from Dubs and Company of Glasgow in 1894. These small engines were particularly suited to work on the MSWJR, and as the line had been lightly engineered over much of its length and the comparatively short trains that were seen on the route did not usually require the use of larger locomotives. Despite the venerable appearance and its small size, number 11 survived in service until the British Railways period. It was extensively rebuilt by the GWR in 1925 and renumbered as number 1335, but thereafter never ran again on the Midland and South Western Junction Railway. It was finally withdrawn in September 1952. The train comprises an assortment of vans from the London South Western, the South Eastern and Chatham and the Somerset and Dorset Railways. The largest vehicles, which are in the distinctive salmon and brown colours of the LSWR, are 48-foot fruit vans, while the smallest is a 21-foot Grand Vitesse van from the South Eastern and Chatham in the new green livery of the Southern Railway. The formation also includes a 30-foot, six-wheel passenger brake van that conveys the guard. Perishables traffic was an important part of the railway operations in the years before the advent of efficient road transport, so trains of this nature would have been a common sight to lineside observers throughout much of the Pendant period. We hope you have enjoyed this short video. We have a lot more from Pendant to share with you. Click on the link below to access some of our hidden gems and do subscribe to our YouTube channel which we update regularly.